let me ask you this. What's the ultimate purpose of mathematics? Basically, math was developed to help us answer questions, okay? To help us solve problems, to help us explain systems, to help us understand life and optimize our ability to interact with it, okay? There is no other language that we've been able to come up with, okay, that does this better than mathematics. Now the first place, the first place where we start using math in life, in our everyday life, in, in trying to understand how things work, is by introducing units to numbers. And what units do in mathematics is they give meaning to numbers, okay? Take for example the number two. Any number, number two, that's just a number. Right? There is no meaning behind that. That's just a number. It's just the number two. It's the same thing as this other two, right? This two and this two are the same two. I could put an orange two. Two, two, two. They all mean the same thing, right? As soon as we introduce units to numbers, these numbers begin to mean something, right? Two apples. Two people. Two oranges and you can continue with this right uh, two kilometers two miles two kilograms two triangles two points to to anything you want right as soon as you introduce units to numbers you give numbers meaning and as soon as you do that you can start using them in your life in any system that you're trying to understand in any system you're trying to explain right in any system that you're trying to optimize right that's what units do some units they're just there they're part of our everyday lives two apples two people two oranges two sheep right they're they're there it's something we can understand right certain units we created to be able to dig down deeper into whatever system that we're trying to understand right if we're trying to weigh something we came up with two kilograms right if we're trying to measure something we came up to with two kilometers two miles right and all these systems didn't come out like this there were other systems all over the world that existed that didn't mesh together right they didn't work together you have to convert from one system to another system for you to understand it currency is one right one dollar in the united states is different than one dollar in canada is different than one dollar in australia right take the euro for example all the separate countries in europe that now belong to the European Union, that use the euro, the same currency, they all had their own different currencies. So if you traveled from one country to another, you have to do a conversion. You have to figure out how much your money was worth in the other country, right? So what they did was harmonize that and create one system. And that's the way most of the systems, most of the units that we're going to use, that we've come up with, that we use in our everyday lives either to make things, to measure things, to, to do commerce, to, to, to cook, to bake, to, to do everything in our lives that requires a certain amount of mathematics and almost everything in our lives does require a certain amount of mathematics. All of those systems, most of those systems, that we use in mathematics to a certain degree we've come up with as convention, right? And slowly throughout the ages, we've been able to harmonize some of the systems. So units are either something that existed that we're able to, you know, just throw in after a number, understand what that means, you know, two apples. I have 10 sheep, you know, there are two people here, there are five people here, there are a thousand people here, or there are units that we came up with to be able to understand a system, to be able to explain a system, to be able to dig down into a system, and to be able to do predictions, and to be able to work with them, okay? And that is the main problem that most people face when they start doing unit conversions, when they start entering into the realm of chemistry, biology, economics, whatever system you want to enter, music, poetry, literature, right? Everything has a unit associated with it. Everything is based on a system that you have to understand before you can start using it, okay? Keep that in mind because that's all units are and that's one major obstacle that people face, that I know I face, that there are times when I, when I encountered certain types of units where even though my mathematics was strong, I just didn't have the ability to apply that. It just, I had a really hard time applying that 
you know, learning that system and doing well in whatever it was that I was taking, either if it was, you know, chemistry, biology, if it was music, music theory, if it, it you know, whatever system it was, I stumbled, right? Until I learned what the units meant, until I w learned all the different types of units that existed in that system to be able to convert from one to the other and then I started doing better in in whatever it was that I was doing better in okay so just keep that in mind all units are is units give meaning to numbers and once you start giving meanings to numbers you can start using those numbers you can start using the the the, the axioms we've come up with the rules of mathematics in that system, in real life, in whatever it is that you're trying to do. Okay. <laughs> Crazy people. Now, your prerequisite for this stuff is some of the beginning sections in series one, which is basically section section one section two section three you know learning how to how to deal with fractions learning how to crunch numbers learning how to you know what prime numbers are learning the real number set okay you're gonna have to learn how to move around an equal sign because that's what that's where we're, we're going into right equal sign is sort of beginning stages of using mathematics in real life as soon as you give them units right as soon as you give uh, numbers units and start using the equal sign now you're looking at a specific system trying to figure out if one side of an equation equals another side of an equation specifically based on your units you're talking about based on the system that you're talking about right based on the system that you're exploring okay so there's some prerequisites you need which is basically learning how to do simple arithmetics for us for you to be able to understand what we're going to do in this section this in the, you know in association with ratios because ratios is you know one major aspect of this which they're basically connected especially when you're doing converting from one unit to another okay so that's what units is going to be um, it will be interesting and we'll try to touch on a few different subjects and uh, some of the initial stuff we're gonna start off with uh, should be quite fun and it's gonna apply uh, in if not your everyday life in your life at some point or it could apply at your in your life at some point okay we'll talk later see you guys in the next video bye for now